welcome back to another Monday mashup. I'm coming to you fresh faced. There's really nothing on my skin. I just did a face mask that had a lot of hyaluronic, just kind of pushed it into the skin and here I am. So I'm gonna be talking about probably the least exciting step of your skincare regimen which is cleansing today. And I have one particular product that has just been a star in so many categories for me, so I wanted to highlight this cleanser. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys proof that I have a green juice and I am just this epitome of health and fitness. And that's basically it. If you saw my stories earlier today, you'll understand why I'm even mentioning this. I don't usually drink green juices, okay? This is not typically my thing. We tried it for about 30 days a couple years ago, and I actually did a YouTube video showing that we did a 30 day juice cleanse. It's a lot of work. And also it spikes up your insulin because it is basically straight sugar. I mean, it's good for you, don't get me wrong. You need your greens and your veggies, but having this multiple times a day or even once a day just spikes the shit out of your sugar. So anyway, I'm really digressing, but I just wanted to give you proof that today I am a healthy human being and that's all. That's it. <laughs> Let's get into this cleanser. So this is from Eminence Organics. It is their probiotic face cleanser. Now, when I first got this, I wasn't overly impressed with the packaging, the pump. I mean, I, I was just underwhelmed, if you will. And a few of you guys had actually reached out to me and said, hey, have you ever tried Eminence Organics? It's a really good skincare brand, would love to know your thoughts. I've heard a lot of great reviews. So there was a couple different messages of people asking me if I tried the brand and what my thoughts were. And I was like, actually, I haven't, first of all, ever heard of it. Second of all, no, I haven't tried anything. So I ended up reaching out to them. They sent me their PR package. I got to try a bunch of different things. There's a body lotion, there's a firming fluid face serum, an eye cream, a lip balm. There's a amazing, like delicious, like super thick moisturizer. And then there was this cleanser. Now, when I say this is the least exciting step of skincare, I say that because you have to wash your face every day. And depending on if you do it twice a day or once a day, that's totally up to you. If your skin is overly dry and you just don't really sweat at night, maybe you don't need to use an actual cleanser in the morning, but you still kind of just splash some water on your face. Now, if you're somebody like me who is a sweaty Betty, I basically exude sweat. I could be sitting in a room that is 50 degrees and I'm still sweating because that's just the way that I am, I'm a sweater. So overnight when I wake up, I have to wash my face because Lord only knows how much sweat, like it's just not cute, okay? I know you guys think I'm always like put together, whoo, the behind the scenes is really not cute. So I have to wash my face in the morning, right? The reason why this has just whew, wowed me, amazed me, for me to be passionate enough to even make a video about a cleanser, which is again, not exciting. You have to do it. It's just like, well, you have to wash your face. And it's kind of a pain in the ass too, because you have to get all the shit off your face, all the sunscreen, all the makeup, the mascara, all of that. Usually you have to double cleanse, do it twice at night. Man, I'm already stressed thinking about having to do it tonight, but luckily I don't have any makeup on, so it's gonna be a lot easier. But the wow factor, okay, I'm really rambly. This cleanser does not claim to remove mascara and crazy amounts of makeup. I literally do one pump of this in my hand and I get in the shower and I just scrub down whatever makeup I have, eyeliner, mascara, heavy foundation, really a lot of lipstick, blush, like lipstick that doesn't move, okay? Lipstick that stays on your lips even when you're eating ramen, like that's some serious ass lipstick, okay? This cleanser takes it all off with one wash. And that is why I liked it because they didn't market it that way. Now there have been some of my favorite brands, like my top five that you guys could probably name off the top of your heads, that have come out with a cleanser that is a makeup melting cleanser, a makeup removing cleanser, a makeup surfacing cleanser, whatever it may be makeup related, they claim that it will take all your makeup off and their claims are bullshit. Typically, 
when the cleanser, in my experience, when I see that it says makeup removing, makeup melting, whatever it says about removing makeup, it is bullshit. It takes you like three times to wash your face before all the makeup is off. It's disgusting. And for companies to be marketing themselves in that way is really disturbing in my opinion because I can't tell you how frustrating it is to use a makeup removing cleanser and still see mascara on my face and foundation when I try to tone my skin. So I get really passionate about it, obviously. So this cleanser that did not claim that it was a makeup removing cleanser literally removes it all so quickly. It is super gentle. It's the perfect formulation. Not too thin, not too thick. Has kind of like a minty, herbally element to it. It kind of has like a tingly, minty feel to the skin, which just makes it feel clean. You feel like you just washed your face. But also when you look in the reflection, you're like, wow, it took off all the mascara. And wow, it took off all the foundation. What a miracle. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Again, it's a cleanser. It's like, bleh, cleanser. The best cleanser I've ever tried. And I get cleansers sent. I have cleansers coming out of my ears, guys. Out of my ears. We, we can't even use all the cleansers. I have to just get rid of a lot of them. I'm gonna read the back of this to you as well. This says, cleanse and clarify acne-prone skin with the cooling uh, properties of cucumber and tea tree oil. That's what it is. It's the tea tree that is giving you that cooling sensation that I kind of described as like pepperminty. It says moisturize with sweet almond milk and exfoliate with yogurt to deep clean pores without stripping the skin of hydration. Now one of my favorite cleansers from Kiehl's does an okay job at removing the makeup. However, my skin after using that cleanser feels dry as a bone. So I do not use that cleanser anymore because I realized every time I use it, my skin starts to crack, especially around my mouth. I mention that area a lot because when it's cold, cracking around the mouth. This is so hydrating, but also gets it all off. And all you have to do, you apply a small amount, massage, blah, blah, blah. You know how to wash your skin. Very easy. But the thing about Eminence that people really did not prepare me for is how clean the product is. Eminence organic skincare products contain natural, organic, and biodynamic ingredients. We are cruelty free and committed to protecting the future of our planet through our green practices. This company, it says on the back, is based in Vancouver, but the brand, it says it's made in Hungary, but Eminence Organic Skin Care is based in Vancouver, which is a little confusing. But on the front, it does say Hungary since 1958. So they've been doing this since 1958. They know their shit. And this particular cleanser says for acne prone skin, oily to combination skin types. Even though I tend to have combo and more dry now, this is still doing wonders for my skin. I noticed the other day, I tried two different cleansers from two different brands, and I could tell like midday that my face was not having it. Like it just was not having it. I really think this makes a big difference. So this says the key ingredients are cucumber juice, yogurt, sweet almond milk, tea tree oil, willow bark extract, and bio complex too, which is trademark, so they can't tell you the full, full ingredient list there. And then it just says that there's no paraben, no phylates, sodium, laurel sulfate, glycol, no animal testing, all of that good stuff. So I just have to say, again, nowhere does it say that it is a makeup removing cleanser. Nowhere in the packaging, the branding, it's specifically for acne prone skin that's oily to combination. However, this just cleanses beautifully. It removes all the makeup. It is just a wow product in the most non-exciting part of your skincare routine. And it just makes it so easy. I usually have to use this only once. All the makeup is gone. Skin feels nice and cleansed. When I go in with a cotton pad to tone the skin or go in with the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pad, there is no brown for my foundation. There's no blush. There's no mascara. Nothing is left on my skin. And it took one pump sometimes too, depending on how much makeup I really have on my face, but I'm just amazed at this. And I don't think this brand has enough hype. I don't think a lot of people know about them, but I'm so thankful that the few of you who asked me my thoughts 
did so because I wouldn't have discovered this incredible cleanser. And it's not to say that the other products aren't amazing too. I just feel that I haven't really had enough time to go through them. We're testing so much. And for me at the moment, this has been the star product. The body lotion is fine. It's just not wow to me. You know what I mean? Like this has been wow. So that is why I wanted to tell you guys about this cleanser today. I would love to know what your current favorite cleanser is that also removes makeup. We can go into a makeup balm situation too. I just don't really like balms that much. They feel so thick and heavy and cakey and they're so messy and greasy and then sides of it will get stuck into your sink. Then you've got like brown foundation with like the balm stuck on the inside of your sink and it just seems to be messy. So I just have been really impressed with this Eminence Probiotic Cleanser. Again, I will have a link for you guys in the description box below, but please tell me in the comments what your favorite cleanser is at the moment that also you find does remove your makeup. Now, if you are somebody who double cleanses, which is basically what skincare experts are telling us to do, it would mean that you have kind of like a makeup balm first, something that really breaks apart the makeup, and then you would go in something that is more treatment specific like this because this is more geared towards acne prone skin. So you would wanna do two steps, but curious if you double cleanse a lot of people don't and you could always just double cleanse and use the same cleanser twice but the idea of the double cleanse is really to break apart the makeup and then go in with something that is more specific to your skin type so let me know what your favorite cleansers are i'll let you know i'll respond back to you and tell you if i've tried it what i think of it if i have and if i just needed to add it to the list because i'm looking for something as incredible as this because this has really wowed me so Hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know your questions and what your favorite cleanser is. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another video. Bye.